What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we have exciting Digimon news that we need to be having a little bit of a look at. You see, ladies and gentlemen, we have got confirmation of the upcoming Ultimate Cup, which sounds very dramatic. And in a way, it's pretty gosh darn dramatic, but it looks so cool, I am absolutely willing to forgive it. Now, we got a whole bunch of dates for this, some of which are still to be announced, we'll get there in a moment, but I think we better start off with the prizes, because these promo cards are awesome. And starting off, everyone that participates gets a Demi Vimon alternate art and two event packs. Now, it's not quite the level we've seen for participation in the past, and I kind of think this is a good thing. One of the issues we've had with Digimon TCG tournaments up till now, the bigger online ones, is that the, the, the participation is too good. And that means that a whole bunch of people that don't really want to play sign up just to get the participation goodies. Thing is, there aren't that many of these actually happening. So, this Demi Vimon is still going to be pretty gosh darn sought after. It is the one from BT3. If this Digimon has jamming once per turn when attacking, draw a card. Frankly, it's really good. I like this. In any deck revolving around jamming, and hopefully there are a few of them out there, this is a pretty good card, and the artwork on it is absolutely adorable. You do then get yourself two Event Pack 2s. Remember, Event Pack 2s come with one card each, and essentially, there are a bunch of different ones you can actually go ahead and pull. So, for me, I've made no secret of the fact it is the Anubismon and the Bushy Agamon. They are the two I'm really after. I just adore the artwork. Uh, I opened some Event Pack 2 on this channel from the tournament I was in the other day. Unfortunately, unable to find those two. Little bit sad. But apparently, I've got another couple chances coming in here. Now, these are the participation prizes. So, let me be nice and clear right off the bat. This is going to be a sought-after tournament. This is going to be a tournament that people want to enter. This is going to be a tournament, wherever you are in the world, that sells out pretty fast. One thing that Bandai and Digimon have been really, really good at up till now is keeping us informed as to when these tickets are going on sale. They've done a very good job last time. I mean, they gave us six days' notice. These are going to sell out very quickly. When Digimon announces when these are going on sale, get there as fast as you can. Because they are going to sell out, and they're probably going to sell out quickly. Now, last time round, they sold out in like 10 minutes in Europe, which isn't long. But every single person I know that got there at the time advertised got in. And then a whole bunch of people that turned up 15, 20 minutes late were very angry that they didn't get in to enter this tournament. And on the one hand, I understand that entirely because I would be very disappointed if I wasn't able to take part. And on the other hand, come on, these were the finals, I should say, the, the European finals. And on the other hand, we were told like six days in advance when they were going on sale. If you weren't ready, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen... That is on you, and I don't want that to sound mean. Going up through the prizes then, we actually see that thing where instead of throwing extra event packs at you, and I'm all in favour of that, we just go up to a whole bunch of other promos. So when you make it to top 28, you get a Vemon alternate art promo. Now this is, and all of these cards are stunning incidentally artwork-wise, and they are all stamped with Ultimate Cup, and I'm a sucker for a good stamp. It's called Jamming. So level 3 with jamming obviously goes very nicely with the level 2 that lets you draw a card when you attack with jamming. Jamming, if you've forgotten, is that skill that says you will not be deleted by security Digimon. So you can attack the stack and know you're going to survive. Unless you hit the wrong option card. Going up into top 64, we have an X Vmon alternate art. And clearly we're just kind of running up the evolution line here. Again, we've got new art. Again, it is stunning. Again, it is stamped here. You still have jamming, but you've also got an inheritable skill whereby when this Digimon has Imperial Demon in its name or three in its traits, it gains jamming. So basically lots of jamming going on up till now. 
If you manage to make your way up to top 32, you get yourself a Pale Dramon alternate art card. And this one's kind of lovely. This one's got the jewel typings. You will notice we have literally just gone up level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. Probably not a coincidence. Might even keep going. And this has DNA Digivolution. As a side note, might be the first DNA Digivolution card we've actually seen in English. I could be wrong. But I don't remember seeing any other, you know, so we can actually see how it looks on the card. So, level 4 blue and level 4 green, zero cost. When you Digivolve, if your DNA Digivolving, you return one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 power or less to the bottom of their owner's deck. And when attacking, once per turn, you unsuspend this Digimon. Obviously, if you've got jamming here, so you know you're got, going to be deleted by security Digimon, that gives you a rather huge advantage. And then we get to the really good ones. If you make your way up to top 8, you get an Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode, which is kind of stunning. This is the one from BT8, nice level 6, dual type blue and green. Digivolve 2, if you're Digivolving from a name that contains Dragon Mode. When Digivolving, you return one of your opponent's Digimon with 10,000 power or less to its owner's hand. And when attacking once per turn, if a blue card is in your Digivolution cards, Unsuspend one of your Digimon. If a green card is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. And yes, obviously, if you've got both blue and green evolution sources, you do get to do both, and that's rather lovely. So yeah, that, that, that's one we can get a little bit excited about. We then move up into top two, and we have ourselves an Omnimon. And this one is going to look kind of familiar, because this was the top two promo last time. However, and I do think this is a very cool touch, you'll notice that the stamp is different. The last one was stamped with Evolution Cup, and this one is stamped with Ultimate Cup. You will also notice that although the artwork is basically the same, it's not the same. The border is a little bit different. It is zoomed out a little bit compared to the previous card. Basically, they've changed the stamp, but they've also changed the artwork ever so slightly. It's still the same basic art, but they've changed it slightly with the background and the zoom to turn it into a different card. And I really appreciate this. Now, I don't have one of these Omnimon Evolution Cup cards. I really wish I did. I really don't. But if I did, and I know there are people out there that do, obviously... The more they get printed, the more it devalues the card. And, you know, these are not easy cards to get. You have to do extremely well to get them. So, I, for one, love the fact that they're basically reprinting it. But they're making it just different enough so that if you had it previously, it's not being devalued in any way. And I think this is a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. So, yay for that. And obviously, you know, it's the BT1 Omnimon. It's nowhere near as good as it was. It was ruling the format when it came out. We are not in the same position now. When Digivolving, choose one of your opponent's Digimon. Delete all of their Digimon that share a name with it. And when attacking, you can unsuspend it by returning a level 6 from under it to your hand. Used to be, you know, the real high flyer in the format. We're not there at the moment. But if you really want a rare card... How about Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode? Yeah, this is absolutely over-the-top, crazy stunning artwork. And it's only being given out to the champion. So if you want this, you have to go to one of these tournaments and win the whole gosh darn thing. And it's going to be interesting when you make the final, you get the Omnimon, but you're essentially playing for this card. And it is absolutely worth playing for. As a side note, you also get a booster box for winning, which I find kind of interesting because this card is going to be worth like probably a couple thousand dollars at least. It's going to be one of the rarest, most sought after cards we've got. And they're giving you one booster box for winning the whole thing. I don't know. That seems a little bit weird. I personally would rather have promo packs and things of that nature. Either way, if you win, you're not going to be upset about this because you're going to have this amazing card. Now, this is the one whereby when one of your Digimon would Digivolve into this card in your hand, you can return a white level 7 from your trash to the bottom of your deck, <coughs> Omnimon, to reduce the cost by 4. And when Digivolving and when attacking, you may return one two-color card from this Digimon's Digivolution cards to the bottom of its owner's deck to trash all of the Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. Then you take all of your opponent's Digimon that have no Digivolution cards and put them to the bottom of their deck. 
Clearly, that's kind of annoying and kind of great. I adore these alternate art promos. Realistically, I'm going to rock along, get my Demi V Mon, try for 128, probably fail because I've not tested enough, and be pretty gosh darn happy because that card is beautiful. But I think it's fair to say that there are some really good promos coming out here. And you, know, you get your two event packs for taking part. You get your booster box if you win the whole thing. Really, this is all about the cards. Now, in terms of the format, we've got single, constructed, best of three, 50 minutes, no top cut, all expected, modified rules. Remember when we had Digifest, we brought in side decks and mulligans? It seems like they are considering, you know, there's no world invites or anything on the line here. Seems like they are considering playing around with a little bit of modified rules here as well, which kind of sounds like fun, honestly. I could get on board with that. In terms of dates, we don't actually know yet. Sorry about that. But we know some. We don't know everything. We know some. So over in North America, there are two. One being run by Core TCD on the 23rd. One run by Carter Magka on the 24th. Which is obviously a very nice thing. Because it means that if you are in North America and you can get tickets for both. And I'm aware that's a bit of an if. It means you can take part in both. Over in Europe, we don't know exactly who's running it. But we know it's going to be running on the 30th of April. And in Latin America, we know it's run by Cocky, and it's being run on the 1st of May. It does say more dates to be announced soon, so please don't presume these are going to be the only ones they run. As it stands at the moment, we've got two in North America, we've got one in Europe, we've got one in Latin America. But it literally says more dates to be announced soon. So I think this is one of those situations where hold your horses, there may be more. I personally hope there will be. I am going to be all over the one on April the 30th. I'm going to warn my wife later when she gets home. I'm not available on the 30th of April. And I do hope there are going to be more of these in Europe. It says there are more dates to be announced. I hope one's in Europe. As I told you previously, and I do think this is extremely important, Digimon have been great at telling us when these tickets are going on sale. And I heard so many people getting very upset that they missed out from the finals in Europe, and I don't blame them because that would be rubbish. However, if you rocked up at the time you were told six days in advance, you got a ticket. So, be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Be ready. Go and get them. There we go. That's what you need to know. I am hyped, and I hope you are too. But now I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. So, go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wasi Plays.